all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow and to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video it lets me know that you found it valuable you appreciate my time and the efforts i put in to make these videos and it helps out the youtube channel so i really appreciate it also stay tuned towards the end because we do have a ticker symbol you won't want to miss and you definitely want to add it to your watch list if you don't have it already and it's one of Kathy Wood's favorite stocks as well, apart from NNDM. So that's a little insight on what it is. And some people are probably going to bash it or be like, what? Why are you talking about this? That stock got destroyed. Well, as it's been destroyed and moving sideways, Kathy Wood has been loading up. She's almost doubled up her position on that one. So stay tuned for all that information. So here we are. NNDM Nano Dimension, right? So here we are sitting with NNDM stock going downward so i did some further digging because i want us to look at some other institutional ownership as well than just arc invest so let's see our new resistance and support support was broken through obviously and we're sitting slightly below the 50-day moving average and we're going to look at all of that in just a moment so let's see how arc invest has positioned themselves so here we are with the 22nd of arc q you could see it there highlighted they had 6,953,282 shares and RQ today on the 23rd they have 6,944,623 so when you look at the difference they went down a little bit they went down almost 10,000 shares here in RQ from yesterday to today it's a very small position rebalancing probably focusing on other things I mean I see some other stocks there that I was doing some research and looking at and uh, they really upped their position big time on certain stocks there, which I find very interesting. Now, let's go ahead and see ARCW. So ARCW on the 22nd, they had 5,726,918 shares. And on the 23rd, they have, again, here you see the 23rd, ARCW, 5,626,918. So when you look at that, you know, back to the 22nd, ARCW, same amount they did not change they stay neutral on this one interesting enough i did a video yesterday on rblx stock and uh, you could see that they're starting their position there and this is how you know kathy wood and her team started off and then all of a sudden you know this just starts to run up and all of a sudden it ends up up here and then obviously the market value starts to grow interesting stuff how it works out but i do want you guys to be aware of the fact that uh, nano dimensions was neutral here and nano dimensions on our Q went down by 10,000 but this is what I wanted to go ahead and do some further digging and I looked at any new positions that were open so I went over here and I found this very interesting you could see big positions being done here by different institutional investors you could see arc right here with their next generation which is arc W you can also see their innovative technology ETF, but this one fluctuates. It moves up and down. I don't really look at this one. and It's a small position. This is the one that's more stable, either goes up and down and stuff like that. You could see also the S&P here, right? With the Kensho New Economies Composite ETF, 2 million shares. Then we also have the Portfolio Developed World X US ETF, another spider ETF portfolio, another one with a few shares there very very interesting then we also have here Soskehana international group two million shares very interesting and all of these green right rows are new positions this was all of february all of january okay and all the way up till now present day leading up to march that is pretty bold and i like that 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 looks pretty bold in, in my perspective in my end uh from everything and especially all of these here in february that was that was a big deal and we can see a lot of different uh different um banks here and they're showing their their average cost too you know uh, morgan and stanley at 599 131,000 shares big deal here so basically nano dimensions close to six dollars is a steal if we get back to those numbers we saw that recently it's a steal if we see it again that that touched it march 5th and these guys were reporting probably you know their purchases from way back here or on the way up and then they probably averaged down or something i i don't know or 
they were way below they averaged up and then they had to go ahead and report but you know anything close to these lows here or even midway of that it's a steal i mean a lot of people are saying though nano dimensions is a little bit speculative but the way arc invest feels about it and the way these institutional ownership has been going up and these are all new positions in the last month it's pretty interesting to me it's not just arc invest anymore it's a lot of different investors before it was less and that's why i wasn't really fond of looking that up because it was probably something to um wait a little bit and see but you know kathy wood set the stage for this one and i think this one has room especially with all the expansion and how she feels about it i mean kathy wood i did a video about that that video um i'm gonna go ahead and and let it pop up in in a few minutes into this video that you guys can see it you can click it and it's gonna should come up and if not you'll see it towards the end of the video but yeah that that video was very interesting how she feels about it how nndm is going to possibly work with defense and stuff like that so here we are with our support 904 if that gets broken through this could be on its way down to newer lows new support levels and the next support level would be down here at this point at 889 if you want to go ahead and write that down you can but before worrying about 889 904 is your first support to watch carefully and see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are tearing this one down fairly fast our 50-day moving average is up here at 989 anything below that is bearish anything above that is bullish so we are in bearish territory and i do want every single investor and viewer to be aware that that needs to be crossed by the bulls to get back up into gaining leverage and bullish territory but before getting there the first point that the bulls need to break through is 948 they need to go ahead and turn that into a support and break away from it now i do want every single investor and viewer to be aware that this does not signify or guarantee that the bulls have gained control they need a break through the 50-day moving average but before getting to the 50-day moving average they need a break through this first resistance 948 turn it into a support to reach newer highs and new resistance levels as always guys if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned till the end because I have a ticker symbol you won't want to miss. And it's one of Kathy Wood's favorite stocks for RQ. Right where Nano Dimensions is as well. You guys are going to find it interesting. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. Here we are with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. And to all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. And to all the subscribers, welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video that you found it helpful and informative and you found value in everything that i put in to these efforts of making these videos so i really appreciate that it goes a long way and it helps out the youtube channel now let's jump right into it so the workhorse website is what i have pulled up here and i want you guys to go check it out if you haven't already to go ahead and see all the different items and products that they have coming moving forward but the first thing i want you guys to know about workhorse is that workhorse has a lot to do with investing for tomorrow and not the channel i mean literally investing for tomorrow no pun intended as i always say and this is a sector that is not i'm not saying untouched but just getting ramped up and there's so much potential moving forward for this company that it's outstanding compared to what we see out there now i'm not saying that you're going to be able to 5x 10x your money i could definitely see this 2x to 3x and this is not financial advice i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold i'm just here to enlighten you guys so let me share with you guys why there's so much room for this to grow so the first thing is today i went ahead and tweeted wkhs stock at 1488 and dropping yeah, institutional ownership keeps going up every day. This stock will 2x. That's my bold statement there. And I'm just saying it uh, through a tweet. And I feel pretty confident about this. Now, that's just me being conservative. It could probably go a little bit higher than that. But 2x is certainly possible. So let's look at the chart. So it, it continued going lower since I talked about it, right? I set it at 1488. It's at 1454. Does this have room to go even lower? Yeah, this can touch 12. This can probably touch $10. Now, I've been talking about this one since this big pullback over at 
the Patreon, right? So if you guys want to know what stocks I'm watching live and what's on my watch list and weekly watch list, you can go ahead and join us over at the Patreon. I will put the link down below in the comments. It'll be penned in that section. So here we are and it touched 13 and it touched the low here of 1260 and it ran up to $19 really fast. That was just like in a few days. It kept going back and forth, back and forth, hit $19. That was a quick play for me. I definitely went ahead and took advantage of that volatility. And I saw an opportunity as soon as I saw it in the oversold section. I thought that this was all temporary pullback and so forth. Then it continued going lower. And now I'm looking at workhorse long term. I'm not going to do anything crazy or fast like that. I'm really seeing potential here moving forward. And because some institutional ownership has really caught my eye. So we're going to go over that in just a moment. It hit a low here of $11, came back up to almost 19 at $18.50. It's pulling down now, sitting at $14.56. So let's go ahead and look here what it is that Workhorse has an opportunity and why is it something that you would want to have on your watch list. Well, the first thing is institutional ownership that believes in zero carbon emissions. I have it highlighted here. And BlackRock is one of the largest institutional ownerships. And this is their bold statement and their slogan right now. So risk will always be in the market. And I love how they say it, turning risk into opportunity. We believe that the transition to a net zero carbon emissions world will reward firms, sectors, and regions that adjust. So that's another thing that sometimes you have to do as an investor. You need to start adjusting to what's bound to come okay then you want to do your research on the company and then you want to do your research on the likelihood of that company succeeding with everything that they're saying that they're trying to succeed in so this is a big deal right here that net zero carbon emissions well let's go ahead and see who is the top three owners of workhorse so here we are with workhorse and uh let's go ahead and scroll down so we could see that. So this is right here, the institutional ownership workhorse group Inc. So the top three. So the first one's AMP holdings, right? With 12 million. Then we have BlackRock Inc. with 7 million. And then we have here Baxa Stefan D, right? With 6 million. So when we look at the top three, number two is BlackRock. BlackRock statement has to do with zero emissions and the transition of the new world of EV sector and clean energy and the way we do things. That right there is a bold statement for them. And it's a bold statement to see them being the second largest institutional owner. Now, Kathy Wood here, it's reporting 1.9 as of the 19th of right March. And when we pull up the most updated RQ right? ETF, PDF on the 22nd, today's the 23rd, they have a total of 3.9 million going on to 4 million. It's going to be very interesting to me to see the new updated one for today. If they reach 4 million, I look forward to that. That's going to be a big deal. And they're trying to catch up to BlackRock. And let's go ahead and see Vanguard. Vanguard's position is 5 million. They're actually trying to catch up to Vanguard first before they can get to BlackRock. Big, big, bold statements here from institutional ownership. And yes, if you look up Workhorse right now, they're being attacked, right, by different firms. But you need to think about that. Is that a potential threat or is it actually permanent? That's what you need to think about as an investor. You need to look out ahead. And when we see these institutional ownerships being so high, it's easy for them to go buy millions of shares. But us, the little guys, the little people, the retail investors, the longer it stays within these prices, the more shares we can rack up at affordable deals, right? Quote, unquote, if this is a deal, right? I can be completely wrong. But if it is a deal, which everything seems to turn that way, and just because they lost one contract that everyone was expecting, you know, it just dipped down. But this had a lot to do with hype. And I think this is back to reality. And I think that at some point, reality will end up back to these numbers. Or possibly past that that's my opinion there i'm just sharing it with you guys again i'm not a financial advisor i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold any positions but the longer these prices stay at these numbers the more bullish i am 
and the more of an opportunity for us, the little retail investors, to load up on shares that we can go ahead and nibble at at the prices that we can afford. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts, and let's make some money.